What is Chester Cheetah's favorite fairy tale? Cinder Mozzarella. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're well, my friend. Sorry, I'm a, sorry, I'm a bit delayed tonight. The day was a was a little busy for me. A lot of cleaning, a lot of cooking. I needed a, I needed just some extra time. But now I'm here and I'm ready to begin. I hope you are all well. I'm feeling all right myself. Uh that guy black fox black fox first in chat first in chat so long ago too i'm not sure how you guys get into the chat so early but i really appreciate your your dedication you were here you were here almost an hour before i was it's incredible welcome to the stream lucent jelly welcome in as well five foot giant happy to have you here as well that's not a dolphin you say well we are going to get to echo we i have two games scheduled we've got this is a wild wild quest is the the first of our scheduled games echo is scheduled for second for second slot tonight we will be getting to it And I see some redemptions for a stretch break and a magic bean. We'll get to those in just a moment. Uh, let me also say Pukistan and Master Tuesday. Welcome in, my friends. A sparrow. Happy to have you with us, of course. I'm glad that you're glad that you're here, my friends. We must start with stretches. That we will do. What a cheesy looking game. <laughs> Uh, so we have a cheese emote. What you see is my frowny icon there, the slice of cheese with arms. That was one of the drafts as uh, as Jelly and I worked on the cheese emote. Morning slash afternoon frowny. Uh, it is morning. It's just after. It's it's twelve thirteen a.m. It's thirteen minutes into the morning. If you're one of those morning begins at midnight types of people. That's it, I'm done. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, Sparrow, Sparrow's asking if I ran that joke by Jelly. I run, I run pretty much all of my jokes by Jelly. <laughs> eh, I, I run jokes by Jelly before the stream. Lots of drafts of jokes, and uh, until I, if I get one that either. <laughs> Uh, and I keep I keep running drafts until I either get one that makes her laugh or makes her groan, and I'll take I'll take either response. <laughs> oh. All right, we're gonna do the stretch break. Not much of a break if it's at the top of the stream. I'm just moving a couple things out of the way. Real quick. Out of the way of the camera. Because uh, I'm thinking I'll do the big camera. Hopefully that looks alright. And we'll, uh, we'll start with some stretches tonight.
Okay. Jelly says, you don't know the horror you're missing. <laughs> In regard to my terrible jokes. Oh my. And uh, yes, the frown town. Sparrow says, I've never seen the frown town thing. Five Foot Giant says, I love your frown town sign. Thank you. So this was a... I, showed, I actually showed this off on stream a couple nights ago, um, but right at the very beginning, so a lot of people missed it. This is a, this is a neon sign. <laughs> My sister gave this to me as sort of a Christmas slash birthday present, and it is spectacular. Itarama, good to see you, Itty. Welcome to the stream. It, it lights up and it's spectacular. Um, it's not plugged in right now. Um, I've just got it on this uh, shelf. For now, um, I'm going to install it on the wall uh, near the ceiling between these two lights. And then I'll probably be doing, I'll probably have it on for a lot of the streams once we get it installed. I'm going to move the camera angle a little bit um, to have it, have it sort of centered and we'll have it behind me. At least at the start of some of the streams, it might be too, it might be too distracting to have on all the time. But we'll have it on at the start of the streams uh, up above my head once I can get it mounted. Um, unfortunately, like, it doesn't just mount directly to the wall. It mounts on po I have to mount these posts into the wall, and then it mounts on top of the posts. And it's kind of complicated. It's a, it's a two-man job, so I, I, need, I need Jelly's help for it. Um, that's why I haven't done it yet. Um, but we'll... Uh, when we have time and she is able, we will uh, we'll get it up there, and oh, it it's spectacular. I really like it. Can you plug it in and show it in its full glory? Um, uh, I guess I guess I can. I've got to step away for a moment to do it, but yeah, I can I can uh, I can do that. I reckon. Um, let me. Let me put up the BRB. Let me put up the BRB screen for a moment and change my lighting, and I'll be uh, I'll be right back with you, and you can take a look at it. So, this is what we've got, my friends. <laughs> is it not? Is it not spectacular? Oh, it's not your, it's not, it's not your fault. I know you could, uh, um, Jelly, I know you could come downstairs and, and help me with it. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of timing. It's mostly just a matter of timing. It's pretty glorious, Pookie Stan says. Five Foot Giant says, wow. Sparrow says, wow. I really like it. Turn that frown down upside down. <laughs> I'll bet you keep that on during the streams. It would look cool. I mean, that's that's sort of the goal. I'm just I'm just a little worried that it'll be that it might get a little too distracting, but uh, but we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with a uh, I'm gonna experiment and we'll see we'll see what we could do. Pookie Stan wants to see it upside down, so if I flip, this is this is what you get when we're upside down. It has brought to attention that Frowny needs a slightly better webcam, though. Let's see what we can do about it. <laughs> now it says smile town <laughs> nice 
I will we'll see we'll see Sparrow. I imagine that I imagine at some point if I you know at some point as long as I continue streaming at some point I will upgrade the pieces of equipment that make this operation happen. It's just uh, you know it can get quite expensive and when I've got things that already function it's hard to be motivated to it's hard to be motivated to mess with things that are already working. <laughs> I had this horrible thought that upside down I was going to have some rude word. Um, I mean, if it did, hopefully, you know, it would be terribly backward. And so we wouldn't have to worry about it. I missed your birthday, Frowny. I'll throw in for a better cam. How much could it cost? $10. Well, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Five Foot Giant. And I'm not exactly sure. Like equipment like that can get surprisingly expensive when you need stuff of of high quality. And this sparrow says the problem is a good webcam almost doesn't exist. <laughs> there you go. If you just do it as a hobby too, it works. Yeah, that's uh, that's my that's sort of, that's sort of my thought. You have to go into expensive camera territory. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, and think my webcam, my face only takes up a very small percentage of the screen. I think we're okay. <laughs> I think, I think we're okay. All right, I am, I'm going to switch. Well, let's see what happens when I take this uh, off. Yeah, you can't even see, <laughs> you can't hardly see anything at all when I'm in small size. <laughs> it costs a thousand, at least a thousand dollars. Just a, just a few more zeros, and what's that? Zeros are nothing. <laughs> there's, there's literally no difference between ten dollars and a thousand dollars. Just a couple zeros. Uh, <laughs> uh, Olo Polar Bear, welcome in Olo. Chester Cheetah, yeah. Yeah, Chester Cheetah. That's what we're going to start the stream with tonight. The first, uh, first hour and a half, roughly. Probably the smaller portion of the stream um, will be devoted to Chester, Chester Cheetah. Just going to do a first play, try it out, see how it goes. If we're doing really, really well, it may get a little bit more time, so I can just go ahead and beat it. But you know, if I'm if I'm suffering and struggling a whole bunch, <laughs> that's okay. We're we're looking for we're looking for a taste of this game, to 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 me, you know, take a take a good bite out of it. But we don't necessarily need to consume the whole thing on our first try. And then the latter half of the stream. And hopefully the bigger portion is going to be devoted to Echo the Dolphin. Um, we've already started that, but we're still in our first playthrough and need to make some progress. Um, webcam, do you know what kind you have at the moment? Frowny is at Logitech. I couldn't tell you. It's some... It's some, like... Generic, off-brand... Just some some cheap thing I found on Amazon. Some weird brand I'd never heard of. And I don't think it's even printed on the webcam what brand it is. Um, I got the I got this camera in particular because it has a really wide um, viewing angle. That's the only thing I looked... That's really the only spec that I targeted. What is this game? Did you have to send in a thousand Cheeto UPCs? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not even really sure. This game's just been sitting in my collection for a long time. And... Um, we've done a couple of the things where, like... People nominate games to a pool for, for random selection... 
and a couple different viewers have commented where they've seen like, oh, I see you have Chester Cheetah in your in your collection. Maybe I maybe I should nominate that. And I kept that 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 stuck with me in the back of my mind that that wow, people are interested in that game. Maybe I should check it out sometime. And then just since I was already planning a Genesis game for tonight, and I usually like to do double features, <laughs> I pulled this one out. <laughs> Uh. All right, let me uh, let me let me change the lighting uh, back so that I'm not like so I'm not shrouded in complete darkness every time the every time the screen goes goes black. I'll be I'll be right back with you real quick. controller cables are all intertwined <laughs> but we've uh, we've got it um sparrow says between 400 dollar logitechs and a thousand dollar cameras there is an option you can use a gopro but you have to get a very specific model otherwise it will be stuck with that fisheye lens view map from Cartridge Rollers played one of the Chester Cheetah games, and it's what prompted me to copy one of the terrible pieces of music. <laughs> is the music is the music really that terrible in this game? I mean, this uh, this sort of faux rock song that we've been listening to is uh, is all right, right? And look, he's he's riding a purple motorcycle. How bad could this be? Derek Ocean, welcome in this game. <laughs> uh, I hope you follow this with the Seven Up game. Oh, do I? I don't know if I have that. I know I've played. I know I played it. I rented a uh, cool spot when I was young. I don't know if I have a copy of it. I might. I think I rented the. Uh, I think I. Uh, Rick. I think I rented the. Um, the uh, SNES version. Boat ladder, welcome in. Happy to have you with us. Checks. Checks quest. <laughs> now that game I don't have. I think I saw. Um, I think. Um, the uh, the angry angry video game nerd did a did a video on Chex Quest. I think I watched that. I mean, I know I watched that. <laughs> so I I've seen that. I don't think that I'll be playing it though. I think that's a computer game. Cool spot for the win. Did you ever play the Kool Aid game? No, I haven't. Five Foot Giant. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see. Uh, there's something about we need a map. We're collecting pieces of a map. We had a map to get to Hip City. Mean Eugene stole our map, tore it into pieces, and now we've got to collect the pieces. I didn't really read the story so much as I skimmed it as it scrolled by the screen a thousand times. It's on Atari, just like E.T. Terrible. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we're going to look at our options. Configuration. Uh, jump and run. Um, all right, that's okay. Sound test, we don't need to open. Difficulty. Easy, normal, and hard. It's on easy by default. Whoa. The default setting is easy? All right, we're going to go with normal.
I have Cool Spot on the on Sega. All right, I've got the Genesis version. Well, we could do it. We're not going to do it tonight. Uh, we're not going to do it tonight, unless I unless I beat this game in like twenty minutes. We're not going to do Cool Spot tonight. <laughs> uh, but we will. Uh, I'll keep it in the back of my mind for another night. All right, let's uh, let's actually start. I've been, I've been chin wagging for a very long time. You have been. You've been very patient to, to stand around waiting for the uh, waiting for the start of the game, my friends. Thank you very much. Um. Oh wow! Look, there's a lot of levels. Oh, we've got a couple different places. Okay. So there's what three, six, nine. There's ten levels. We get a choice of three of them. What is this? You, you Eufrica? Omaha? Lawston? Oh my. I don't even know what... I don't even know what city this name is supposed to be parodying. Like, I get Omaha and Boston. Right? I don't know. Let's just, let's just dive in. Played the uh, Super NES Chester Cheetah game. It stunk. Uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. I like to go into games with an open mind. Can I climb? Can I go in the store? No. Oh, we've got a very short time limit. I I do not like these controls. <laughs> Congratulate I mean that was easy. No bonus. Oh, is this the boss? Alright, we gotta watch out. One hit takes us out. This is awful. I'm bleeding lives here, and we're at a game over. Oh, this game. One hit kills you. I'm going to tell it no, and we're just going to take it from the top. Most people are like, come on, how seriously can you take a game where you play as a character created for some cheese snacks? It's safe to say we're not getting 
it's not getting played tonight. <laughs> mean Eugene. Mean Eugene drives a, uh, a purple vehicle as well. <sighs> okay, so this is a... Uh, let's make sure that our difficulty stayed on normal. It did. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do the same level again. Cool spot was, uh, cool. So if we've got if we've got a bag of Cheetos in our inventory, we get an extra hit. But otherwise, it's one one hit and you're you're a goner. Like that. Ooh. I think we actually want to not run in this game. Bleeding lives. Oh. This is unacceptable. I'm throwing this life away on purpose. Easy being cheesy. <laughs> I'm I'm learning that. I'm learning that the hard way. How hardy can a cheetah be when its sole dietary input is Cheetos? <laughs> Good question. This is very annoying. This is very annoying. We sell Cheetos popcorn at my theater. I don't know if I've I don't know if I've come across Cheetos popcorn. I guess that's not very surprising though. like uh, cheese flavored snack foods <clears throat> why does it keep saying three credits aren't you using them a uh, no five foot giant um, I ever, uh, when I'm, I'm not choosing to continue. If I lose a, if I, if I, if I get a game over on stage one, what's the point of wasting a continue? <laughs> I'm restarting every time I, uh, every time I, 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 I game over on the first stage, I'm just restarting. There would be no sense in wasting a, con wasting a credit on a stage. If I waste a credit on stage one, <laughs> I'm not preserving any progress. <laughs> Now I keep selecting no on the continue screen.
<clears throat> Makes sense you're so much better at video games than me. I don't know that I would say that. <laughs> You like cheese flavored snack games? Um, I'm finding out actually I do not, Loyal, and welcome to the stream. <sighs> so far, I, I would not say that I like this game at all. I would rather I would rather eat Cheetos than play this game, that's for sure. Especially when the enemies respawn constantly. <clears throat> what a miserable experience this game is. Oh, I should have played this for Jankuary. No bonus. If I have to get a, if I have to get all four of those to randomly match to get a bonus, that's not going to happen. Also, there is no way to fight this enemy. This enemy is functionally invincible. This enemy is invincible. I won't listen to what, uh, what anyone says otherwise. There's no way to tell when it's uh there's no way to tell when it's vulnerable. What's surprising is Cool Spot on Genesis was actually a really good game despite being a food mascot game. I remember renting that one many a time. I know that I uh, I know that I rented it on the uh I rented Cool Spot on the uh, Super NES. I don't know that it, I don't know that I would describe it as a good game. <laughs> I don't really remember. I don't really remember. My instinct tells me that it was probably not very good. <laughs> I probably just liked it because I was a kid, and and my tastes were not very well formed. We'll see though. I'll play it. I'll I'll play it some night and see if I'm see if I'm mistaken. Oh look at that. We have a ledge grab. Thank goodness they put so many useful moves into this game. They were really trying to make something good, weren't they?
Oh, I didn't eat the magic bean that was uh, redeemed. You guys are just going to let me get away with that, huh? Thank you for the pistachios boat ladder. That's what reminded me. Nice. The music continues on the pause screen. All right. Well, let's have a bean, and then we'll have some pistachios. It is... I don't know what this is. I guess this is the bean that is fish or strawberry banana. It doesn't look... It doesn't look right, though. I thought that bean was supposed to be more yellow. This is more pink. Well, let's see how it goes. Mm. It goes bad. Sparrow, I regret, I regret saying that the music in this game wasn't that bad. This, this three second loop is agonizing. Oh. All right, so I lose, I lose on the jelly bean. Tyson for the win. Welcome to the stream, Tyson. Good to see you again. And is this Chester Cheetah? You bet. <laughs> this is this is Chester Cheetah's wild, wild quest on Sega Genesis. So far, immediately a bad time. progress in Jump King is more measurable than the progress present in this game. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Excuse me. I haven't even thought about this game in decades. I can't wait to see what ensues. <laughs> so far, there's a lot of me resetting. Because I keep getting a game over on stage one and don't want to waste my continues. This boss reminds me of one of the neighbors in Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <clears throat> this is terrible. There's nothing to determine what's gonna... There's, there's no way to tell whether you're gonna take damage or receive damage. <clears throat> there
There is no way to tell if you're going to take damage or receive damage. You would think it had something to do with the umbrella, but this is not true. I get damaged when the umbrella is down. I get damaged when it's up. I get damaged when it's in between. Like, umbrella up. Perform damage. Umbrella down. Perform damage. And smashed. Awful, miserable, terrible game. <clears throat> Where's Superman 64 when you need him? If you had an 8-bit guitar, wouldn't you shred it like this? No. No. This music is criminal. This is this part's all right. I played it, but I don't remember anything about it. I love your stream, but I do not care for this game. <laughs> Thank you, Five Foot Giant, and I concur. This, this boss is exceptionally dangerous. Does anyone like this game? If you enjoy this game, you need to see a doctor because your opinions are broken. I can't believe even these little bad guys need two hits to die. But only one will kill you. I know. Ugh. How bogus is that? <clears throat> when is this boss vulnerable? I don't understand. I'm doing the same thing every time and I'm getting different results. <sighs> the lobster is tougher than Chester Cheetah. You see, that's the problem, is Chester Cheetah is actually made of Cheetos. <laughs> that's why he's so frail. <laughs> uh, remember Chester Cheetos. Um, the plans to have the house to myself and hang out with the cat fell through. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Pookie Stan. Woe is me, I have no fluffy, weird fluffy thing to hang out with this weekend. I told you we wouldn't be playing Cool Spot tonight. I mean, I didn't expect to, Black Fox. <laughs> to be fair. The SNES game was ridiculously hard. I hope these games aren't expensive. 
I couldn't tell you what I paid for this game. It wouldn't have been very much. Just a couple dollars. <laughs> Stop flexing at the camera, Chester. Focus on the boss. <laughs> <sighs> So we have a run ability, but it's really next to useless in the uh, platforming stages here. Because all it does is help me run into the enemies and receive damage. Just took in a rescue cat. I named her Medusa. I love her, but she's a jerk. But she's a good cat. How many hits does this awful thing take? I've done a... I've done an amazing amount of damage. What was the thing where I went way off the screen? What's that all about? Oh, victory. We succeeded. We beat a level. Uh, now the whole rest of the map opens up for us. Wow. Oh, but we now, our choices are limited, though. That's weird. It looks like we can go anywhere, but we really only have two choices. We can only go to one of the two places adjacent to the start to the level we just beat. We can go to Not So Great Falls, or we can go to Quaker's Field. I'm gonna name my cat Chester Cheetah now. Oh my. Cats can be unpleasant, in all honesty. Uh, I prefer to hang out with dogs, Pookie Stan says, but I'll take what I can get since I have no pets at my place. The guitar riff is just awful. Agreed. Aren't you excited that you have so much more of the game left? I'm just thrilled, Pookie. Just thrilled. 
it's because I have to follow the dotted line. All right, well, let's head up to uh, Montana. Figured out I figured out how to do the the big jump. I disagree with that death. <laughs> Looks exactly like a Sonic game. Oh no. I'm not going back to the left. That that arrow is out of its mind if it thinks I'm listening to it. Can't go to the goal. I didn't find I did find the map piece. Never mind. Let's go to the goal. The music is similar, too, except bad. No. Poor Sonic. This is not possible. Chester is doing everything he can to ensure a mighty frown. Look at that attack. That's undodgeable.
When Frowny gets angry, he remains calm while his beard is spun into a rage. <laughs> uh, the cheese emote with the uh, with the cool sunglasses is is shockingly appropriate, Itty. <laughs> Except there is nothing cool about this game. What's the opposite of a Cheeto? Like if like if Cheetos are are Pepsi, then what's the what's the Coke? Frito. The one cool part of this game, it ends. Does it, Itty? Cheese puffs or cheese balls? I have a, I have a hypothesis. I think that this game was a, I think a, a competitor to Cheetos brand bought the rights to their mascot and made this game as a bit of anti-advertisement. They said, we'll release this. Everyone will hate Chester Cheetah and no one will buy Cheetos ever again. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at another stage. We're starting from the top again. I'm just stunned. I'm stunned into silence. This game is an amazingly unpleasant time.
Did that bull just stab me with a pitchfork? Yeah, they wanted to to ruin. They wanted to ruin Cheetos. Stop lying! You're having a blast. If you doubt me, I invite you to play this game yourself. Then you can have as much fun as me. I keep expecting that yellow chicken to be a pickup item. It does kind of look like something you could interact with. I saw the map piece. Oh, the pitchforks do damage to you even when they're not extended. Because of course they do, why wouldn't they? time.
This game may have the greatest input delay of any game I've ever played. My wall meat tonight is boneless wings with no sauce except for a packet of blue cheese. Blue cheese terrifies me. I don't think I could ever eat it. I do not eat blue cheese, but I'm about to oven up some frozen White Castle. I've never, I, I don't think I've ever had White Castle uh, food before. I know they make those little square burgers. I don't think I've ever tried one. Game over. Cool. How does anyone ever finish this game? these fires is this fire burning down under the water i'm sure it will hurt me sonic drowning noises <laughs> if chester cheetah started drowning underwater i think i would just leave him here <laughs>
credit extended? Is that what it said? That's nice. I have no idea how I'm supposed to attack this enemy. No idea how I'm supposed to attack this enemy. Next, next January, I'm going to do a deathless speed run of this. I don't think so. I think it's fairly safe to say this is a game I will never complete. I would be more likely to do a deathless speedrun of Haunted Castle than I would of this game. Ledge move is coming in handy. Oh, don't forget the map. We have to collect the map pieces. I did forget the map. I think it's down here on the right. I do love that you went in with an open mind, Frowny. Uh, thank you, Five Foot Giant. I tried to... Yes, I tried to go in giving games the benefit of the doubt. That's why usually when I play a game that has a reputation for being bad, usually I play it, and I go in about 30 minutes in, I'm like, this game's alright, I'm having a pretty good time. And then, two hours later, I'm in tears, <laughs> saying, this is the worst experience I've ever had in my life. to see it played there's not a whole lot I won't try oh, 
So I'm, my 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 casual playthrough of this game, I'll, I'll submit it as a as a speed run, and it'll remain the world record forever because no one else will bother to play it. Uh, that's good. I finally understand how to damage the boss. Uh. There's also Chester Cheetah's too cool for fool yet yeah, to fool yeah. Someone uh someone a couple people mentioned that uh in the chat earlier. What a shame I don't own that game. Isn't it simply tragic that I won't be able to play that one? Would spoilers include talking about the prior games leading to this one <laughs> prior games there's more than one black fox and now you can you can share your you can share your facts with us what do you know about the other games If I never eat another Cheeto in my life, it will be too soon. pitchfork placement. I'm terribly upset about that. I didn't really care for Cheetos much before, but at this point I don't even consider them food. You've ruined Cheetos for me forever. I'd rather I'd rather eat a rotting apple core than a Cheeto. just chilling indoors with their sunglasses on. I know I want to like them, but they are they are unpleasant as well. Like everything in this game. <laughs>
Arctic Beast. Um, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Sorry it took me a moment to see that, but I do appreciate having you on board with us. Those sauceless, boneless wings will haunt my dreams. Uh... think it's on the s nest but there apparently was a mcdonald's platformer that was actually genuinely good i know about the, there's one on the nes that i know about i don't know about one on the s nest it may exist but i don't think i've heard about that one burger king had some bizarre stuff come out on the ps2 also i have a i think i have the burger king games i have them for the xbox i don't know if i have all of them but I have at least uh, at least one, maybe two of them. One game on SNES and say you have at the last game had Chester trying to escape the zoo while finding parts for his motorcycle that leads to this game after his escape. Wow. There's a continuing storyline across the games. That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible that they pretended to care. I'd rather eat a no-win magic bean, yeah. That would be more delicious. Maybe you think of the NES one? Maybe. We got what four hits in? Don't you don't you just love when it's when it's impossible to deal damage without taking damage in a game? Isn't it awesome when you and the enemy just have to trade hits one for one? Especially when you only have one hit.
There's also McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure for the Genesis. That might be it. That game I've never heard of. Whatever it is, it's got to be better than this. So people paid actual actual American dollars for this game. It's like paying for an ad. I remember Spot, it was basically just Othello. And don't forget Yo Noid. Um, this is very deceptive because seeing screenshots and even video, you probably couldn't tell it was a horrible game. The visuals almost remind me of the 2D Toe Jam and Earl game. I've heard of Toe Jam and Earl. I didn't know there was a 3D one. <clears throat> it, uh, Toe Jam and Earl is a wonderful game. It does kind of look like it. I've never actually, uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything from Toe Jam and Earl. I've just heard the title before. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this game. I can't make I can't seem to make any progress. I'm in a I'm in a bad situation with this game because I don't want to be as good at this game as I would have to be to make progress.
I don't even want to get good enough at this game to finish it. I don't care enough. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. Play the first, uh, play the first, you won't, you won't regret it. Panic on Funkatron is like a side scroller platformer. The original Toad Demon Earl was isometric, so I just call it 3D. Oh. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of isometric games. <clears throat> Alright, I don't think we've looked at this level yet. Cherokee man. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the pistachios. I'm having a rough time tonight, as you may be able to see. This game is, uh... This game is really bad. <laughs> I want Cheetos. I never, I never want to see a Cheeto ever again. <laughs> Cheetos frowny, don't hide it. <laughs> I mean, I have a face cam. Whether or not I'm eating Cheetos should be abundantly clear, right? <laughs> the platform. The platform killed me. Oh, wait a moment. Oh, I thought that that Cheeto sign was going to kill me. I wanted it to. <laughs> I would rather I would rather eat a, a I would rather eat a, a a Cheeto than a ketchup flavored chip. Yes, you got you got me there. Hiding what you're eating, we all know it's Cheetos. Sneaking Cheetos off cam. <laughs> Even if you haven't played this game, I wouldn't recommend eating Cheetos while gaming. The like grease and cheese powder get all over your hands and then all over the controller, and that's just pretty gross to think about.
I will say most of the music in this game is not uh, is not offensively terrible. It's not fantastic, but most of the music's all right. It's really just that boss music. It's really just that that boss music that's like ear splitting. But this music's kind of mellow and relaxing. Uh, there's another level that has a... The music's kind of bluesy. Cheetos are something I like to eat once every couple of years to remind myself why I don't eat them. Not unlike uh, corn dogs. Those sausage things that are wrapped in pancakes. Uh, like corn dogs are pretty awesome, though. I feel the I feel the same way, uh, Pookie. Like yeah, when it comes to Cheetos, I would eat them. Yeah, maybe once every couple years. I, I hope I hope to never eat a Cheeto again, though. <laughs> this game has thoroughly has thoroughly ruined Cheetos for me permanently. <clears throat> unless I unless I get a le unless I receive a, an apology letter from Mr. Frito Lay himself. <laughs> apologizing for making this game, then I'm not going to eat another Cheeto. <laughs> I think that I think these I think Cheetos are made by the Frito Lay company. This game is kind of like legitimately, <laughs> legitimately giving me a headache. <laughs> oh. Oh, but yeah, I uh, I don't like uh, I don't like corn dogs much either. Um, but I but those uh, but the sausage pancake things are pretty good. Though I don't eat either of those very often, often either. I probably haven't I probably haven't had a corn dog in I don't know 10 years. And a sausage pancake on a stick probably 5 years.
since y'all made me hungry, the oven is on. Pepper Jack White Castle incoming. <laughs> <sighs> I've got a harvesting robot. Do you have any C64 games that you plan to list in the collection? Um... Uh, no, Black Fox. Um, I, I don't because uh, I don't uh, physically own any C64 games. My uh, my VG Collect is only for um, is only for games I physically own. So like we've been playing Cuphead on the Switch, but I only have a digital copy, so I'll, I'll, I'm, I won't ever put digi I won't ever put Cuphead in my collection because it's digital only. Um, and that's, uh, that's something, so, if someone wants to request a C64 game, like, you're free to do it, because I have the C64 Mini, that's, that's one of the, that's one of the rare cases where you can, uh, where you can go off menu, that's, in fact, it's probably the only case where you can go off menu, <laughs> Because I can, because I can get, I can, I should be able to get pretty much any C64 game that, uh, that we want on, on the mini. What do you think of cloud gaming? Terrible. Cloud gaming, terrible, worthless experience. Do you usually buy digital or hard copy games for newer games? Um, so, yeah, so for, for older games, I like to go physical all the time. For modern games, in theory, I would prefer physical games for modern games, but really it doesn't matter anymore because, uh, because if, you buy, um, if you buy a physical game, a, a physical modern game, it's not complete on the disc or cartridge anyway. It, they always require updates um, to 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 patch, you know, broken areas of the game and stuff like that. So the the physical copy isn't really worth a whole lot. I like to get it just because I usually don't have a lot of s space in the memory of my of my consoles for as many games as I would like to have for them. And so it's nice that the that the physical disc or cartridge can help you save a little bit of memory space so it's still nice to have but really the convenience of having a digital copy kind of outweighs that Because, like, I have all these games. I have all these games physically on my Switch. I've got, like, I don't know, 20 games for the Switch. And, yeah, I've got them physically. But let's say 20 years from now, my Switch breaks. Um, and I, I can maybe buy a used Switch and replace it. But I'm not going to be able to download the patches for all of these 20 games. Because Nintendo's services for the Switch are going to be gone and dead. So all these games on my shelf are just going to be basically incomplete wastes once the once the switch once the switch's lifespan ends. So like a physical game a, a, a physical game you buy today means nothing. <laughs> it's it's not any more valuable than a digital game.
still going strong in this game, I see. We're about we're about done with this game. I've uh I've pretty much I've pretty much given up hope on it. <laughs> My, uh, my, my, my spirit is dead. My body's just going through the motions at this point. Do we start back at the boss if we say yes? I don't even remember how this works. Nope. Alright, my friends. I think we've given this game enough time. This is not a... Uh... This is not a good time. What? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying, Black Fox. My bad. I see you reacted to Resident Evil PlayStation. What do you mean? Oh, I didn't see that message, Pookie Stan. I, uh, I'm, since I'm not really a sports guy, I keep forgetting that, uh, I keep, uh, I keep forgetting that the, uh, that the Super Bowl is going to be this weekend. But I mean, that's probably what I would do <laughs> during a during a Super Bowl party. I probably I would probably be uh, I'd probably be pretty antisocial because <laughs> I just wouldn't be into it. Oh yeah, I did see that uh, black fox. Yes, nice work nice, on the the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil PlayStation. Sorry, my mind my mind went to the went to the game, but yes, the. Uh, Yes, not very, not very nice work on that. All right, so we're gonna switch over. We're gonna, we're gonna move on to Echo the Dolphin. It might look, playing Echo might look a lot like playing this, <laughs> where I'm not making a whole lot of progress, but. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try my I'm gonna try my best, and we'll see if we can do it. Um, so if you'll excuse me just a moment, I need to step away to switch the uh, switch the cartridge. I'll be right back with you, and we'll see about uh we'll see about making making some uh, progress. Um, uh, see about making some progress in our uh, our our first playthrough of that game. So just uh, just uh, stand by, my friends. <laughs> 